thank goodness though in that last update before this one the lane changes finally got fixed because I was at the point where I okay it's beeping it's buzzing it wants my hand on the wheel all right boom it's going over into the fast lane perfect lane change one of one So yeah, finally in that last update, they fixed the lane changes here in Las Vegas and it's been buttery smooth ever since. Uh, before that, I was at the point where I wasn't even making lane changes anymore just because it would it would cause an error every single time and traffic behind me and everybody else would think I'm crazy. We're gonna see how she does. So we're in the fast lane now. I'm gonna go and speed up to 75. A couple of things in this uh, new update is the automatic lane change improvements. Automatic lane changes have been uh, tuned to make uh, lane changes uh, with more confidence. When adjacent lanes is detected to be open, automatic lane changes will initiate faster and be more assertive. And that's exactly what we've been looking for, hasn't it? Alright, had a little bit of a technical glitch there. One of the cameras turned off, but we are back on. Uh, another improvement they did is adjacent lane change speeds. Uh, when your vehicle is moving in a significant faster lane, the vehicles in the neighboring lanes is going to start showing you an error and it's going to slow down. Uh, that makes sense because a lot of times you're going 70 in one lane and the other lane is going 50 and it's a little bit dangerous. So now autopilot is going to recognize that and slow you down just a little bit. Uh, you can hit the accelerator and it'll uh, bypass that and you'll... Uh, automatic wiper improvements also. Um, all of y'all know we've been having problems with our, our wipers. They go on and on and on even when there's no rain and then sometimes they don't turn on when there is rain. So that's going to be a good improvement there as well. But we are on Navigate on Autopilot. We're going to be doing some lane change testing. And it still didn't take me out of the fast lane. As soon as I get a moment here, I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the, the slower lane. And this is uh, an issue that has been, caused, uh, been happening. So no surprises there. It was putting you in the fast lane and taking you out of the slow lane way aggressively a few updates ago, so now it's completely opposite. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the right lane. And that is two of two perfection. You know, having autopilot is great, but having navigate on autopilot, you know, enhanced autopilot or full self-driving, to be able to do the lane changes, it, it takes it to a whole nother level. I mean, staying in the lane is one thing which is perfect, you know, really don't but to make lane changes you got to take it out of autopilot move over and it's just a hassle so having that enhanced autopilot or full self driving is definitely worth it <coughs> so I bought this uh, model 3 it's a long-range rear-wheel drive bought it in August of last year so we're all right we got the vibrating on the steering wheel we got the chime and autopilot's gonna merge over into the slow lane. We do have a sweeper up ahead, so I normally, I probably wouldn't do that. But for some reason here on this uh, stretch of the highway, autopilot loves to get in the slow lane, so let's see what she does. Traffic's light, it's about 55 degrees here on a Wednesday morning, 10.31 in the morning. We're actually heading to the Las Vegas Supercharger to do my 10% to 50% side-by-side uh, -side review of the version 2 and the version 3 superchargers. So it's heading over to the supercharger to wrap up some more footage today. By the way, if you're looking for a new home here in Las Vegas, head over to my website, sellyourhomelasvegas.com or look me up on YouTube, search David Carroll Las Vegas and uh, follow me on the next video over there as well. All right, so we it's trying to exit me off the freeway again. We're not going to take that exit. This is not where I want to go. I want to stay on the 215. So once I get to that exit, I'm going to have to cancel again. We are coming up on some traffic. Let's see what autopilot does. It's just slowing down. Most likely trying to stay in this lane because uh, we do have the exit coming up. One thing that they need to be able to change on the maps and the routing for navigation I want to be able to switch. Oh, that guy's honking for some reason. Let's go ahead and get into the right lane. I want to be able to switch on the fly my route because usually you have. Oh, it's gonna. Let's go ahead and uh, cancel that lane change. See what happens. So yeah, a lot of times I want to change my route, but I can't do it on the fly. Cancel that again. 
so that's twice. And let's see, he's gonna try to do a third time to get me over there. Yep, cancel it again. And now it's slowing me down, trying to complete maneuver, be prepared to assist. Up, oh, let's not. So it's doing good, but it's like I said, it's trying to take me on my old route. I, I'm, I don't want to take this route. Wow, and it's doing it on every single exit. Let's go ahead and just cancel the navigate on autopilot real quick. Go to the map, superchargers, go to the high roller, see if it gives me another route. Nope, still trying to route me back the other way. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, it is more aggressive on the routing now, but before I used to be able to get onto this route and it would take me the long way. But now it keeps taking me the, the shortest distance, which I do not want to do. Alright, back on Navigate on Autopilot and finally on the route that I want. We're going to be at the Las Vegas Supercharger at the link with 7% battery. So again, I'm going to charge it up to 10% and then I'm going to roll some footage for my next video. Alright, so now we should be smooth sailing with Autopilot. Let's see what she does. Down to 33 miles of range. It doesn't even bother me lowering, getting down this low in range anymore. All right, change into the faster lane, got my hands on the wheel. Took about three seconds, autopilot moved over. That's pretty quick, better than before. Usually, before I used to put on the blinker <coughs> and not change for about five or six seconds. I'm gonna count it down on that next one though. Just gonna keep my hands on the wheel so that way it's just gonna go ahead and maneuver when it needs to. Also, uh, I'll let you know as soon as it's prompting me that it's gonna be making a lane change. Another, wow, okay, prompt me for lane change in two, three, four, five, Six, seven. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to maneuver over. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Traffic behind me slowed down. That's for sure. And we're slowing down the right. And that guy's trying to merge into the right. Wow, that was close. And uh, one thing about the new updates in the last four or five, six updates since version 10, the car has been ping ponging in the road a little bit more. I don't know if it's more has to do with my road or construction, but let me know in the comments if you've been having any issues with the car kind of uh, ping-ponging around a little bit. Slowing down again. Oh, that is not right. We're not in a 60. I'm going to go ahead and raise it back up to 75. All right, it's giving me a lane change. Does it gonna, it's going to do the lane change. It's not doing the lane change. I'm going to go ahead and take over and do the lane change on my own. Just because the lines there in the road are not too well, I think it was a little bit confused. <coughs> I don't blame that on the autopilot. I blame that on the construction on this highway. So it put on the, it put on the blinker. Everything. It's just it didn't want to move over. That's one of the problems with using the uh, auto lane change without uh, having any uh, re uh, required input. Is that it puts on the blinker, and then the event the lane change is going to fail, you sit there driving with your blinker for like a quarter mile. It's doing a little bit of ping pong and like I said though, this road is not very good. Constantly trying to find the center of the road. I'm super excited for this update though guys. Um, I am going to do some 0 to 60 testing here pretty soon since they did the update. I'm going to have the long range model and it's supposed to be under 5 seconds. 0 to 60. It feels hella fast. You know, I was talking to a co-worker of mine that has a Model X and he gets about 230 miles of range. He does a lot of traveling to Utah and he had an issue, you know, he was thinking about getting another car that has longer range because 230 miles it takes him an extra hour to two hours on his trip to Utah and I really feel like it's just because you're limited on range all right we got a lane change hand on the wheel two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand and it's making the lane change very good but 
I was telling them, it's like if you had 320 miles or even like the Raven 370 miles of range, you would never have that issue. Because literally when I travel with 310 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the slow lane. We got traffic behind me. Oh, he's trying to go around. I merged over quicker and he's probably upset. It's all right, if you wanna be aggressive, just be aggressive, just fly around me, I don't care. Uh, but I was telling them, you know, if you had 310 miles of range, when I do traveling, I literally just stop at the superchargers to use the restroom. I'm plugged in for 10 minutes and then I'm out of there. A couple of advantages of the Model 3 is that you have that super fast charging speeds, faster than the Model X or the Model S. And with the extra added range, you really have no problems. Um, so I think 230, 240 is just a little bit limited for long range travel. It's going to take a little bit longer on your charge ups. But uh, with the 310 plus miles, you really never have an issue. Oh, more construction traffic here. Lines going everywhere. Model 3 is doing good. And we got this uh, van wanting to get over to our left lane. Let's see what the car does here. I'm not going to let it, I'm not touching anything. Oh, he changed his blinker. Now he's going to the right. And we've got a prompt to go into the left lane. Hands on the wheel. And autopilot made the change. So far, so good. So, so far since the road, the lines are good on this stretch, it, it's been changing lanes perfectly. We are locked onto this one truck. It's going to speed it up, 77. Oh, we got some crazy lines in the road. Autopilot did it well. Had the old lane line cross over the middle. Let's go ahead and move it back into the right lane and see what happens. Just because I don't think autopilot will take us out of the fast lane.